Happy 2024, everyone. And uh, this is going to be my first video for 2024. I had a couple people email in and say, hey, um, people can see my information on Telegram. I'm like, well, yeah, because unless you hide it, you will be able to share that with everyone. Um, and now that we've had Christmas and maybe people have gotten new phones or new desktops, let's go over a few things that uh, might be helpful. There are are different versions of Telegram that can be downloaded to your desktop. I'm going to go over uh, my Mac and a particular version. It may differ a little bit, so just know that if you look at yours, you're like, wait a minute, it doesn't look like mine, but it, the same concept is there. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead, log in to your Telegram. I did this video about two years ago. And I just looked at it this morning and was like, ah, things have changed. Um, so, you know, make sure you have your Telegram updated. But what you're going to want to do is first go to the settings area. And right now, the settings area for me is in the lower navigation with the little gear. Uh, prior one was a hamburger menu up in the upper left hand corner. So that's why I decided to, to do this. So go ahead and click on the settings and it will take you to this page. In the upper left-hand corner here is my information, and I'm gonna hide it from you because it includes my phone number. Um, I don't want people to know my real number, and unfortunately, the way Telegram and Signal right now um, are handling accounts is by phone number, and that is gonna change uh, for Signal hopefully soon but let's just go into some of the settings. You can go to the general settings here and um, you know make whatever changes you want, spell check, whatever. The thing that we're gonna go over today is privacy and security. So I don't have two-step verification on, I should. That is a new feature that I did um, not have when I first set this up. So if you wanna do two-step verification, go ahead, turn that on. Uh, passcode lock, blocked users. You know, last video I had five. Now I have 25 users. I don't know what happened. And then there's auto delete messages. I'm going to take a look at that. I may want to have that because there's not a lot of information that is secure or private that I would consider private and secure on Telegram. And so I don't necessarily need to reference that uh, information later on. So I, I may turn that on and see what the auto delete is. Phone numbers, this is where you want to start with your privacy. No one needs to see my phone number. So if you click on that, you'll see that um, who can see my phone number? Nobody. Who can find me by my number? Well, my contacts. So if someone that I worked with you know, 20 years ago wants to find me on Telegram, uh, they can find me if they want. And I will have, you know, always share with, and I'm not going to click who those two users are. Um, and the next one, last seen online, no one needs to see that I've been online. Um, I'm private, so I am just keep that to nobody. Your settings can be different. You know, my view on everything, you know, keep things private. Um, but you may use this more for social, um, a social type of app, and you can turn these on. These are just some of my suggestions uh, that people have asked me. Groups and channels, my contacts. Um, they can see what groups I'm in, but um, if I wanted to, I could say nobody, but it's my contacts. I don't want to have everybody um, on just about any of these settings. Well, here we go. Everybody is my, <laughs> down here for photos, but my profile is of my, uh, my last dog, um, and so I'm okay with that. If they want to see uh, Kona, my last dog, well, you know, go for it. If that was my picture, I would only want people um, or nobody to see that, but that's that's your call. Uh, let's just go back up to calls. Absolutely nobody um, should be making a call to me on Telegram, and I think the, the call quality is horrible, and I would rather use something like Signal that is um, more secure. Forwarded messages, my contacts, uh, just because some people have invited me to a particular group. But if you get scammers inviting you to groups, 
Um, this is where you need to lock down some of your settings, like forward messages. You can you know block that. Voice messages, that is not voicemail, but that's when you leave a message in a group. I'm going to leave that on for everyone. And my bio, I don't have that much in my bio uh, for, um, for my contacts only. Delete my account if I'm away for a year. I think it goes down to, you know, you can do a month. Uh, I'm going to do a year. I am pretty frequent on Telegram now. But, um, you know, make this custom to you. So those are really uh, most of the settings that you're going to want to um to check, to verify, uh, make sure that people really can't see your phone number and that type of thing. There's some data and storage that you can look up. Uh, the next one, yeah, we'll, we'll go over is active sessions and active sessions are, um, active sessions that were on a previous device or a current device. So right now you'll see that I have an iPhone 15 pro and then an iPhone 14 Pro. Well, I no longer have that iPhone 14 Pro that has been handed down uh, in my family. I think my mother-in-law has that. And so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say terminate sessions. And OK. And now it's gone. So it's one less. Now, these other um, hard pieces of hardware uh, computers or um, smartphones or iPads or whatever, uh, they are still active, so I'm not going to terminate them. So that's really all I have for now. Everybody, have a great day.